And we are right back into the action. Off board with Mike Rules here to start off game three so far. It's been a, a split series. 1-1, one, one, Swarm Gaming taking game one, but now flip side starting to warm up. Yeah, that game two wasn't close, so that, that's the big difference for me. Game one was you know, pretty close, goes all the way to overtime, and you see Swarm Gaming kind of steal it with fantastic aggressive play. However, now, game two it was so dominant, I expect to see game three be just as dominant in favor of flip side. They're a fantastic team, and it seems like the teamwork is, is you know, back to the standard that it should be. Uh, the individual play as well has been phenomenal in that game too, so it's going to carry through to game three and potentially all the way through to game six. Now we do have a fresh face playing tonight. That's Ronaldo Tricker 8, okay. a.k.a. X out of the fire. We believe uh, he's the same player who's been moving up the ranks in Rocket League, formerly a top five player in almost every category back in Sarp. And so far tonight, I have to say oh game my, one, he played God really Mike strong. rules is godlike if he scores that. Did you see that dribble? You love that dribble? Yeah, he just like, he took a pass all three players. That was insane. So good from him, but unfortunately couldn't get a finish, so he didn't. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. He, Sorry. Did, he did everything but score. Yo, Mike Rules, you're pretty good at almost scoring, bro. Yeah, pretty good. But, but back to your point, uh, Chris, uh, about, you know, Ronaldo. Fantastic player so far. I've been impressed. Game one uh, really led Swarm to, to that victory. The question is, though, can they try and take, what was it, the record is is two games right now? I think it was, yep. it was two games the most that they've ever taken against Flipside. Right now, as it stands, I don't think that's going to be beat. Ronaldo setting up for a shot on goal. A little sloppy aerial just going to tap that one forward on the other end. Here comes Flipside Tactics. Mike Rule's going to bounce that one over to Marky Duda. Marky again past one player. Unfortunately, the ball stolen. And Cooks has been pretty quiet this game. Only five points so far after being the MVP of game two. Oh, and DeBoe Brothers puts it in straight away. Fantastic finish from him. Watch him, the play here. Challenges at the 50-50 at the halfway line. Off the bar, finishes it himself. Uh, despite, I believe that was Mike Rule's best efforts. Not able to get rid of that one. So 1-0 in favor of Swarm Gaming. Maybe I don't count him out just yet. I apologize for the crappy camera there, guys, during the replay. We'll forgive you. I forgive myself you, already. You're and you're rusty. You didn't. You your hair on Thursday. I'm, I'm using new tools, man. I'm like it's, a caveman who just found flint. A caveman who just found flint. That's how you start a fire. In case you were never a Boy Scout. I, I don't actually, know if they have those in England. Well, they, they don't. But I was a fantastic uh, Boy Scout. Yep, that's right. They they don't. They don't but I was a fantastic one. I, I was. I believe it all. <laughs> Over now to Pashi. Pashi with the pass. Not going to have to finish it. Instead, Ooh, the brothers doing all the work. I got him on camera now. Okay. Here's a look at how good he is. This just kind of hangs up. Oh, wow. He even gives the disrespect to the 360. Ooh. Safe potentially could have come in there from Flipside. I'm surprised. Swarm Gaming really going hard here in, in this game three. Taking the fight to Flipside. They now have that 2-0 lead with two and a half minutes still to play. Ooh. Still, you know, a lot of time for Flipside to try and make something happen. Marky's going to hit off the crossbar. Big touch comes out from Ronaldo, though. Just enough to take it away from the two Flipside players that were trying to come in late at the edge of the box. Marky puts it back into that box. It's going to be a little too high, though. Surely for Cooks. No, no. it's not. Nothing is too high for Cooks. What a finish that is. Cooks here is so good. Look How? at this aerial. Just call him Superman. He gets to the corner. Oh, my Drops God. that ball in right over top of... DeBoer brothers, and honestly, the, the one thing I've been picking up is Ronaldo and DeBoer brothers are often running the same place at the same time. A little miscommunication on their first day playing together. Okay, oh, well, that's going to cost them immediately. Marky puts in a second. Uh, that, that changed from 2 up to 2-2 two, two in the matter of, what, 15, 20 seconds? Cooks off the wall, Marky Duda, in your goal. Yeah, fantastic finish from him. And flip side down, level it up. Two goals apiece, two minutes to play. Hey. Started off a little slow, but they have managed to redeem themselves pretty quickly. And already the pressure coming in from Marky. He's going to square it uh -oh. off to Mike Rules. Big defensive save comes out, though, from Ronaldo. Ball still bouncing around, though, in Swarm's box. They need to clear it. Finally, the clearance comes out from Deboa. Apache's going to keep that one aerial. And uh, flip side momentarily need to just try and oh, no. react to this. The ball was just bouncing in a dangerous area there, Chris. It took a weird bounce for a moment. Off two players, Ronaldo. Going to get a touch. Oh. Apache trying to finish is going to send it too far. Just gets a clear credit there, and now you're going to see Ronaldo to the corner. DeBoer misses. The pass continues, though. No one able to finish. Now they all have to trek back. As I say it, Ooh. it's bouncing in. Pashi is going to be able to force this past two players, and normally this is an easy defensive play. Yeah, Mike Rules just kind of, I don't want to say sloppy. He was trying to reverse into it and just missed time to jump fractionally. 
Okay, goes another half a second late, saves that one, so unfortunate for him. Flip side now, down 3-2, with a minute and a half to go. We saw oh, how oh, no, open goal. Mike Rule, can we watch this again, boost. please? Swarm Gaming, coming down, scoring two back-to-back -back in 20 seconds. A nice response from Mike, uh, sorry, a, a nice response from them, going up against you know, Flipside, who just did that you know, two minutes ago. Pashi able to win the face-off. Marky Duda had the same idea, trying to get that ball that was just bouncing around into the net. Pashi beats him there, and off the break, they're also going to win their next face-off. So good openings. Pashi, though, desperately had to dig that one out. We'll get it out once. A second job will be done by Ronaldo. Very nice play. Minute left. Flip side running out of time now, Ben. Yeah, they need to be really aggressive here. Pashi's going to try and go for the clearance. Doesn't really knock it very hard. And, you know, Maki and Cooks both fighting for the same ball there. That could be kind of costly. They need a goal very, very quickly. If they're going to have any chance of forcing this overtime, that's going to be the shot target from Mike Rules. Pashi with a nice save. Stayed aerial for a very, very long time. Cooks is going to put the ball back into the box. No one in a position to tap that one in. And uh -oh. the fast break from Swarm Ronaldo trying to play for the boost. He's going to actually win that touch to Boa Brothers. Open net momentarily. Can't finish it. Mike Rules now on the fast break. Ball back up from Swarm. And that is no save from Mark. I thought it was going to go with five. Finally, the goal comes out. There we go. Ronaldo Second. says, thank you, Pashi. So many opportunities, so many great saves. The punishment coming in from Swarm Gaming. SL Express said five ones will happen, and if it's two wins, he will be amazed by Swarm. I think it's time to be amazed, Ben. I mean, yeah. I, I think a lot of it was the end of this game, though. You know, Swarm had basically a, a, an open net, really, because you had to see Flipside be aggressive. Down by two, 40 seconds left. They need to make some serious plays. So you see them, rather than playing that rotation system, all three getting massively aggressive, trying to steal the boost. And it, it cost them. It really did. They are able to finish a, a, a chance there, so make it 5-3. But with 12 seconds left, it's not I will eat a lemon live on stream if they somehow force out. Live lemons. Live lemons. Bitten happen. by Benson. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. Oh, cook, sir! There's just no kidding. No, just, 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 just chill. I just wanted to get okay. excited yeah, for no reason. Yeah, Freak you out a little bit. Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. There's the three seconds left. The ball is in the air. Maki. Yeah, they can't score twice yeah, now. Yeah, they can't. It's going to be game. But they can so score again. Swarm Gaming coming out the gate hot. 2-1 now in the six-game series. Woo-wee. All right. That gets me excited. Does it? It does, because... All the games so far in the Pro League yep. have been either 6 0s or 5 1s. This could, fingers crossed, touch wood, maybe not be a 5 1. Uh, That's wood. See what I did there? Touch, yeah. Touch wood. Oh, because. Touch wood. Because. A wooden head. Wooden head. And this is a wooden desk, but it would make more sense yeah, to make fun of my face. Because it's wooden head. Understood. I'm smart. Lost. I was lost a while ago, Ben. <sighs> it's fine. Don't worry. What about I do know is Swarm game. Gaming is up 2 1. They are. And uh, no one saw this coming. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm agree with that. I, I think you would have expected, really, Flipside to come out looking a lot stronger. But got to give them some props. Like they, they're playing really good. Who's been playing the best from Swarm? Let's take a look at our cars here. Uh, I think it, it depends. Define playing the best because Debo Brothers came out and scored two goals very, very quickly in that last game. But for me, Ronaldo controlling the ball, you know, the halfway mark, winning a lot of aerials, and Pachi as well, making some good contributions. So really, I think it, it, it's a mixture of just teamwork making the dream work right now. That's exactly what they were looking for in a new third, and uh, it seems to be paying off pretty well for Swarm Gaming. Would you say it's been a success then? Oh, yeah. Two wins already right. against Flipside. That's a huge success. Can they get a third? If they go that would be massive. At least splitting games with... You know, number one seed in your group. That'd I think be, that's enormous. Look at the dribble here from Pashi. Not going to get it through though. Over to DeBoers, and he's going to round that one off the wall. Everyone with time to go gather boost. And Pashi trying to send this one home. Tries to put it bottom right. Not able to connect. Big save comes in from Cooks. Ronaldo chaps that one back up and trying to set up his teammate for an aerial, but unfortunately it just didn't come in. Everyone just tracking back defensively, making sure they have their own boost available. Ball bouncing around. <clears throat> Simple clearance there coming in from Cooks. Minute gone, still yet to see the Yummy. first goal. Is Mike Rules tries to make it happen. Ronaldo had to go get that boost. Now he's got enough to get on the defensive end. Stuffs Mike outside the box, but this is what happened in game one. They simply start off slow, got suffocated for a bit. Excuse me, game two is when this happened. Mm -hmm. And then Flipside just ran with it. As of right now, it's been very even in terms of possession of the ball. Both teams having some creative chances, but no one really able to finish it. 
Wait a the minute, 30 uh -oh. gone, Marky Judo goes up, big touch comes in from Pachi just to clear that one, Debo is going to go up an aerial for the clearance down the right hand side, tries to find Pachi, but Pachi will find that full boost, that's going to be important, Debo but this tries to put a shot on target, big save comes out, now remember Pachi has that full boost, so if this ball goes aerial, I expect to see him win it, but unfortunately he has to track back and that boost helps him defensively, but unfortunately it seems Flipside have full control of the base, but not able to get a shot on target, Chris. Really, this ball's just been bouncing everywhere but near a net. It's like a ping pong ball right now. It's going from side to side. Strong defense, I think, on both sides is what you can attribute all this to. Is this, I don't want to say fair from Flipside, but are they giving maybe Swarm a little bit more respect? If you, if you look at the way they're kind of playing, I haven't seen Cookser go skying off a wall yet. Right. If that's what you're asking. Yeah. It, it He's seems... been in the box quite a bit more. Just giving them a little bit more credit, I guess, is, is, is the best way of explaining it. Is Finally, Cooks goes off the wall by himself, but no one in a position to really charge that. And that's kind of the point I'm trying to make. Normally, you'll see Flipside in those positions have three players aggressively uh -oh. attacking the ball. This time, only really with two. Mark, you should be able to put a shot on target. A big save comes out from Deboa. Keeps the game at 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, Pashi checked him as well, so Deboa went flying here. Let's take it over. Two Flipside tactics. The setup, and from behind, Marky Duda is going to get imploded. And Deboa goes for the fast break. Ronaldo uh -oh. and Deboa! Ronaldo's uh -oh. got the keeper off the off bar. The net. Marky with a big touch just to tip it onto the crossbar. Nope. Ronaldo again with the shot. Not able to connect it. Now we're going to see a fast break coming from Mike Rules. Surely he's going to find the net, and he does. Flipside Tactics get the first goal of the game. Two minutes to play. That all started with Marky Duda just nudging it off the top crossbar. Mike Rules staying in the box, gets a great pass, and then is able to punish. So. Three shots on goal so far from Mike Rules. The first one sinking in, and it took two minutes and 58 seconds to do so. Can Swarm answer immediately. Pashi's going to completely uh, miss that one. The bow is not going to be able to get a touch on it either. So now you have to see Ronaldo go for a big save because it's a two versus one. Inside that box oh. off the post. Not Oh, Marky puts it back up. Nope, the bow brothers has tracked back quick enough and will get that clearance. A little bit of a... Uh, Danger time right there for Swarm, but they are able to deal with it. Now the question though, can they get a goal? A minute 36, a goal forcing overtime would be so big for Swarm. If they can go even, like you said earlier on, Chris, that would be massive for them against Flipside. Now DeBoer was actually just credited another save. So that ball that Mike Rules hit was, was going to go in unless he got airborne. Great defense so oh. far, Whoa. but you're now trailing by one. How do you get aggressive against a swarming Flipside tag? squad I, it's it's tough man like you, you you have to just try to get control of the boost first you still have a minute seven so you know you can get control of boost once you have control of the boost then you can really start being aggressive but uh, until then it's going to be tough because what are you going to do you play for an aerial you don't have any boost you're not going to be able to convert it really is as simple as that and defensively right now they're being completely throttled into their own base someone needs to pick up that boost it's going to be patchy that does now you're going to see the fast break patchy with full boost ronaldo tries to make it to a, a pass there, but unfortunately can't convert. 40 seconds left, time is ticking. Swarm need this goal, and they need it now. Pashi trying to move it up the left side. DeBoer, the finisher in position. Also the defender if things go wrong, and he will get a shot off the right side. It's not gonna sink in. Over to the defense, Pashi double hit, puts it to the corner. Now he's got his own fast break. Again, he does have that boost to work with. Unfortunately, someone from Flipside steals it. I think that may have been Mike Rules. That beautiful play from Pashi. I think Pashi there was actually going for the demolition. Oh, for sure. On Flipside's goal, you saw him just kind of fly by the goal. It was an aggressive play. Mike Rules puts one on target off the crossbar and in. Nice play from him. Flipside finds themselves 2-0 up. And for the first time, it looks like with 13 seconds left in the Pro League, we are not going to see a 6-0 or a 5-1. This game should be tied up with two. We're going to see twos, man. I'm excited. We're going to see twos. Don't take this away from me, man. This is the first time we've seen it. A very even matchup coming in. You give these guys random names. I don't know if I can tell you who's flip side. Oh, no way. Four seconds. No, Chris, no. Are they going to do this? Chris, no. No, no, no. This is real. They're not going to. This, uh, I think. I don't think they will. There's no way. There's no Swarm game. Four seconds Debo, left. you're not going to do this, are you? Four seconds left. Four Down seconds and you going full boost, bro? Oh, no. That ball is up. Are you that ball is up. Oh, There's he can't no way. get to it. Oh, Deboa, he's going to overhit it a little bit, but can they keep it in the air? They can. Pashi keeps it up. Deboa has to get a touch. Oh, oh, empty net there if he's Look able to it. tap it. Look at how close he was. So close, but unable to get it. A valiant effort coming in from the boys at Swarm Gaming, but it's not enough. Flipside, level up the series now. Two games apiece, Chris. Uh, this has been very, very close. And honestly, yeah. we're not seeing Flipside kind of propel like they did last time in the series. They started off slow, and then it was kind of like a gradient to kind of excellence, if you will. This time, though, gradient Swarm... Gradient to excellence. Yeah, this time, Swarm kind of 
keeping it even. Like, the, these games are close. I mean, you saw the way that ended there. A couple extra seconds, that could have been a goal. It's a pretty good game. It's a very good game. I'm it's enjoying it. This is the best game we've seen in the Pro League so far. Guys, can you tweet us right now? Who's going to win this? Is it Swarm Gaming? The tweet is fair. Is it Flipside Tactics? Let us know at Benson underscore EU. That's me. At MLG Puckett. That's him. We'll read some of your tweets live on stream for now, though. Going into the next game, Ben. Yeah. I just readied up. Yeah, it's it's like time it. to party. Ooh, this to the map. is game number five. Cinco. All tied up. Cinco. I'm going Flipside Tactics by three goals. Flipside Tactics by three? Three. What makes you say that? What, what's the, the confidence the thought process there? Uh, Cooks is angry. Cooks is angry. Cooks is ang. You don't you don't anger Cooks. That's the one thing we know. You don't upset him. No, nope. it's, it's not the smartest thing you can do. Bad things happen when you upset Cooks. That, that is for sure. Off the break, ball is going to be over in flip sides half. But nice clearance comes in immediately from Mike. Rules a demolition from Pashi. He's going to get Mike, so that's going to put a, a stop in flip side aggressive play. And you're going to see Ronaldo try for the fast break down left hand side, but immediately thwarted. Oh Martin no! Duda up and bicycle kick. Not going to be able to convert that one to a goal, though. I've been watching Cooks here this whole time. He's just sitting back, waiting. Well, he's going to have a good oh, chance no. to save. And that again, oh, no. that again is the problem. And this is something I want to touch on, kind of that European versus North American play style. We saw Mike Rules do it. We've now seen Cooks. Cooks needs to charge that ball. He needs to, because what is he doing? He's just leaving the angle open for the attacking play style. That's something that you see you know, North American players do a little bit better, in my honest opinion. You know, Gibbs, he'll charge at you. As soon right. as he sees a one-on-one, -on -one, he's like, well, I need to challenge you. I need to at least fall to 50-50. At worst, you're going to get a deflection. It's going to go wide. Uh oh You can't just allow an easy shot. Great save there by Ronaldo, and not one he expected to have to do. That ball came flying cross court. Oh. And now Marky Duda is going to send it the opposite way. Here he is with the finisher. Yeah, both teams being very aggressive off the break. And this is great Rocket League to be watching. 40 seconds in the game, already tied at 1-1. And so much more to watch as well. Of course, we have a game at 7 p.m. as well. Battle of uh, North American teams. That's the European battle for the evening. And it hasn't disappointed so far. Series, of course, tied at 2-2 two -two between Swarm Gaming and Flipside. Flipside being Ooh. a little aggressive. That's a nice shot from Cooks. And that's going to find his way in. Wow. Unexpected goal so, right there. So this is Mike rolls to Cooks. Off Mike. Cooks is just sitting and waiting. And it doesn't get much prettier than that. He got so high up to tap that one home. That's gonna give him his first goal on his one shot. Now off the break, we're gonna look at a little bit of boost collection coming in. Ronaldo setting up one of what the best strikers finish. on the day. Just gets stuffed. Marky Duda comes in and just dunks right over him, Ben. A minute played, four goals. This is aggressive Rocket League. Marky, as you said, just kind of dunks all up on Swarm Gaming's defense line. Beautiful, aggressive play. Oh, no. Like Pashi tried to reply instantly, and both teams being so much more aggressive. And here's a look at Marky Duda, who just scored the second time. He's going in for another. Can't get to it. Oh, the Bow Brothers, dangerous. Mike, Mike Rolls, Rolls can't oh my God, that get it. Woo. Woo. Very dangerous, dangerous play right there. Coming in from Swarm Gaming, Marky Duda is going to square it, but Cooks have thought about going for it. Decided not to, and he was so patient. That was such a good goal. I want you to appreciate just how patient he really was. He could have gone for it a little early. You see him here. Looks at it. He's I like, can no, get it. let I me get wait. It. I can get Oh. Poor clearance from Pashi, and Cooks are in a position to capitalize. You said flip side, we're going to win by three. They had that three goal lead, but there's still three and a half minutes left in this game. Plenty of time to score six more, Ben. <laughs> I hope so. Three for each side. Goals galore. That's what I want to see right now is. Uh, a very aggressive stance has been played by both teams. The only problem that Swarm are going to have now is the fact that Flipside had that three-goal lead. The more aggressive they play, the more open they leave their own goal. And Flipside is a team where if you give them uh, one chance, one chance for counterattack, they will punish you. Pashi was desperately trying to get home to Boer, buying him a little time with that first deflection. Ball still up, though. And finally, Ronaldo will get the clear off the wall. Ronaldo trying to push past two players, How's waiting to post. This is DeBoer, and DeBoer waited that whole time, but didn't get an angle, and then gets detonated. Mike Rules with the demolish in the corner. Chance still alive, though. I'm oh, sorry, Ronaldo puts it off the back wall. DeBoer comes in. Unfortunately, hits that one too high. Pashi's going to completely overshoot that one, but should be able to track back. Monkey, though, has other ideas. He darts down the oh, left hand no. side. Monkey's still going for it. He's going to pass that off to Kuxa. And what a goal from Flipside Tactics. They are asserting dominance. 
here in game number five. Look at this play. Marky pieces out, makes sure he gets out of the way. Cooks up with a fantastic finish. Doesn't really allow Pashi any time at all. And that's not the first time they've done that. That is oh, a no. set play, beautifully executed. And Cooks off the break is going to do something fancy here to get his corner boost. Now ready to strike. There's the opportunity. Mike Rules calls him off. And it's going to be a little sloppy for the moment. Can Swarm Gaming take advantage of this? They only have 2 minutes, 19 seconds to score four times. I mean, this looks like a completely different flip side team from last game. This is so impressive from them being extremely aggressive. Taking a look at the scoreboard. Cooks a lead with three goals, a save, four shots overall. So nice little record there for him. Mike Rule's the only player without a goal on this team, as uh, Marky Dudar has oh, no. two. Uh, to say that, Marky puts in a three, six, one. Swamp Gaming falling apart, game five. Yeah, here's a hat trick for you, Ben. And this is really Pashy, just sitting in the box, missing another easy clear. That's the second this game that I've seen and, from him. And this kind of goes back to something that when we interviewed Mike, I think it was last week, kind of said they love, this is a team that loves to learn their opposition. As the game goes on, as the series goes on, they learn how their opposition is playing and they really capitalize on it. Yes, you know, the series is tied at 2-2, it's taken them four games, but you're really seeing a dominant performance here in game five from the flip side. And I think that's exactly what it comes down to. The fact that they've learned, all right, this is what Swarm likes to do. This is how they're countering us. How do we counter them? What is the most efficient way of playing against this team? Pashi going to go collect that boost. Here comes an aerial. And it's going to be a little bit of a, I wouldn't say sloppy play, but just a lot <laughs> Very of... Very slow play. <laughs> yeah. So it, you gonna there's some it? skirmishes going down in the corner right now. Are you clearing it? Am I clearing it? We're not uh, clearing we'll, we'll, just, we'll just try and dribble it down. That's exactly what they are trying to do. Mike rules with the handbrake. Can he turn in time? No, he can't. Uh, Ronaldo off the wall. That's going to be bouncing, and he may get a double touch. No. Not going to happen. Cooks it just gets his touch. He actually got stuck in his own net there, so... Big, big touch. Marky now going for a little bit of a dribble. Gets the demo <laughs> on Pashi just with an added touch of disrespect. Another demolition comes in. Deboa gets Cooks back. So, momentarily, it was a 2v2. Immediately off a of respawn now. Everyone back up. Cooks trekking back. Is going to send it to the corner. Mark waiting for the pass from Mike Rules. And Mike is going to collect everything here. Chases that one across the net. And a shot on goal comes in. Pashi. Taps it up, but that one's going to be deflected by Cooks. Cooks with the aerial the second time off of Mike. And here comes the attack, Ben. Does this one go through? I mean, you'd expect it, but unfortunately, Cooks can't time his barrel roll. A little unfortunate. That was an open net. You would have expected him to score that one. Uh, Mike does a good job of just kind of weaving in between the two defensive players. Sets up Marky. Marky not really with much boost. I think and that full boost came up just as he was driving by it. So just unfortunate timing there. The ball's still dangerously in Swarm's box. It will be cleared with eight seconds left, though. It doesn't matter. Flip side just completely demolished Swarm Gaming in game five. They're not going to lead the six-game series three games to two. The question now, though, and I'm sure it's going to be on everyone's minds, can Swarm do what no one thought they could and split games with Flipside? 3-3 three, three here against Flipside is massive for Swarm right. Gaming. This is the first time we've seen them play in their division. This, this would be a massive result night one. I can't wait to see what's going to happen here. You know, a lot of people saying they aren't going to win a game. Swarm Gaming comes out, wins the first game, and then wins the third game. Yeah, they bounce right back after the series is tied by Flipside. Everyone's like, oh, Flipside's going to get some momentum now. Swarm like, no, don't don't count us out, man. We're, we're just going to get two more back up into the, in the lead. But being able to split these games is so, so important. Can't stress it enough. If you take a look at the Division One standings, you know, Kings of Urban are 6-0. Flipside are currently 5-1. and one. Swarm haven't played yet. Nope. So th they're already basically in third place with those two right. wins. But if they can split with Flipside, it puts them in such a good position when they go into their second game. Because, of course, Flipside have already played a game. So going even with Flipside would be massive for them. Then if you see you know, Swarm come out and maybe 5-1 or you know, 6-0 would be ideal. They could potentially find themselves in second place, maybe even first place. We'll see how it all plays out for now, though. We go into the final game of the night, 2-3. Flipside Tactics desperately trying to get a fourth win. And Ben, I, I gotta ask you, man. I called the last game, said it was Flipside. Do they do it again in your opinion? Uh, I would be very surprised if they don't. Uh, as much as it saddens me, I wanna see that kind of beautiful story where they, they come out and you know, Swarm are able to do what they haven't done before. They take kind of three, three games. But when you look at it realistically, I just think Flipside is just so ahead, especially after that last dominating performance. I think they've learned what Swarm is doing, and as I say, I disagree. Mike is just, I mean, that's, that's a defensive error, though. This Mike is, is, is going to become gifted. the Pashi show. Mike is just gifted a goal. Like, look at this. 
Defensively, that's a nightmare. Hits the back of this car. Ronaldo says, thank you very much. I'm going to score in an open net. I appreciate they, you. They, they don't get easier than that, but that's something which you're not going to see Flip Flipside do over and over again. So yes, you, know, you start off well with that one goal lead, but uh, again, my point, I think Flipside have learned how Swarm are playing. I'm going to get cocky here. I'm going to say Swarm Gaming wins. Okay. And I think it'll be by two goals. Okay. And Pashi is the MVP. Pashi MVP. This man. This man right now. Yep. Okay. Fair enough. Mike Rules tries to go for the fast break. Not gonna happen. The Bow Brothers there, and you see Mark just kind of track back. He goes for an aggressive play of his own. Tries to find Mike Rules. Can't. And you see just looks like slowing it down a little bit. Marky more than happy to just go for some finesse dribbling down that left wing, and he's still in a position to make a play happen. Mike Rules though now goes for the play off the wall. Marky in a great position to score. Pashi does get the touch though. That was a big touch as well, just to take it away from Marky. And you're going to see Pashi's plan here. It's just wait for a teammate to go clear and then go on the attack. For now, he's got to play some oh, dirty no. work in the goal. And here's an opportunity. Ronaldo trying to get it to DeBoer Brothers, who's completely out of boost. Pashi now back in the mix. All three players pushed up aggressively. And if they don't score, you know Flipside's coming right back at them. They respect their opponents back up a bit. And DeBoer's able to apply the pressure once again. Yeah, that was a fantastic counterattack from Swarm. The problem was both players in the counterattack out of boost. So you didn't see anyone touch that ball for the second time, which you would have really liked to. But that's going to be a shot off the crossbar. Oh, no. And in off Marky Duda. Fantastic finish. 1-1. One, one. Managed to just get it past, I believe it was the DeBoer brothers on the yeah, line. Yeah, watch this. If DeBoer brothers was a little further oh, forward, no. he would have had that defensive save. But game tied at 1-1. One, one. Heartbreaking shot right there going off of DeBoer brothers. And now off the break, he's going to win face off. Cleared to the corner. DeBoer waiting. And that's a great clear coming in from Cooks. Cooks and the rest of flip side threatening. Solid defensive touch first. We'll see how this one plays out. Marky Duda getting very aggressive. Might be costly as well. Patchy just boosted uh, to a no. wall. Not the uh, attempt he was trying to go for there, obviously. Mike rules. He's going to try and have his shot. Not going to be able to get it. And someone needs to clear it from Swarm. Finally, the ball is cleared. It's going to be Patchy darting down the right hand side. Can he try and put the cross in? Oh, Ronaldo's going to be there. The cross oh, comes no. out the post. Patchy can't clear it. And unfortunately, his teammate was not in a position to play that ideal sweeping role. And this could be costly as Flipside try and set up an attack of their own. They were unable to do so. Just tentative moments right now, Chris, for both teams. With only two and a half minutes left, game tied at 1-1. Swarm still in a good position to potentially split these games 3-3. Yeah, and, and you have to think this should have been a 2-1 game right here. Pashi with a brilliant pass in front of the net, but no finish. Coming in a little bit ago from Ronaldo. So now, flip side, I think they have all the momentum, Ben. Can they take the lead right here? It looks like they're at striking distance. I mean, th this is where playing for boost is going to be so important for Swarm. They need to make sure that they don't just kind of get throttled in their own half. They, that's what Flipside can do so well. Pashi is just going to relieve a little bit of pressure there with the demo on Marky. Couldn't really resist it, and the chance comes in, but unfortunately not able to connect. Pashi with the shot, and he's going to get the demolition on Marky again. So it's the targeting Marky. That's the second time in seconds he's been just demoed. Ball back inside Swarm's half, though. And Swarm needs to just be pretty fast at clearing this. You don't want to allow Flipside to live in your half. It is not a position you want them to be in. Yeah, and you saw the wow, sorry, coming in from your blue team. Okay. Swarm Gaming realizing they're making oh, mistakes no! on defense. Marky Duda unable to punish. Up in the air is Ronaldo. Can't get his wheels on the ground. And fortunately, he's got Pashi on his team to get the clear. DeBoer setting up for the next one. He's going to tap this one off the right side, trying to push it up two defenders in his face right away. Swarm with a little bit of luck on that side. Marky just, <laughs> the ball rolled across the goal line and, and straight out. Marky with an explosion back on Pashi. A little bit of payback from earlier run. And that ball at the halfway line with a minute left. Game still tied at 1-1. One, one. If it stays like this, of course, we will see in overtime. Fast break coming out from flip side. Plays trying to push that into that far left-hand side. Mike Rule's going to put a stop to the momentum in play, but the ball still pushed up by Swarm Gaming. Desperately trying to steal another goal, split the games on the night. 3-3, three, three. it would be huge for them. A shot on target does come in. Mike Rule's with a big, big clearance. Final 40 seconds here of game six. First match of the night going the distance. Swarm Gaming trying to tie up the series at three apiece. And you can see Ronaldo going to take this one to the corner. Off the wall, it is stolen again. Mike Rules has been all over it on the defensive end. And now Cooks with a shot opportunity. Gets the full boost as well. I thought for a minute he may have just tried to flick it in and 
potentially demo the goalie, but ball again, dangerously at the half. Cooks up, puts it up in the air. Uh, Mike Rules is gonna what go for it. That's a shot on target. Ronaldo with a save though. Keeps it a tight game. Seven seconds, can he make a fast break? Squares it. There's gonna be no one in a position to touch it but himself. One second left, the ball will be up, but that surely is gonna bounce. It does. And we are going to overtime in the last game of the European fight between Swarm Gaming and Flipside Tactics. We said Flipside was going to take this game. I thought it was going to be Swarm Gaming. And they open up so strong. Can they finish oh equally God, strong? Look in. at the wall shot. Oh, no. Off the ball. Here's where you can't panic. you got to collect and Ashi. just finish. Somebody oh, touches the bower. Waits for it. Excellent finish to a great shot off the wall. What a fantastic finish to this series. The Boa Brothers a play we kind of highlighted earlier on just gets in and amongst the three flip side players and Swarm Gaming have done what no one thought they'd be able to do. They split even with flip side tactics on the night. The series is going to end at 3-3 and you have to look at the kind of the roster changes which occurred for them massively in their favor. Bernardo Bernardo Tricker 8, if that's X on fire, X out of the fire. He played incredible tonight. He played really... Whatever his name is. Really good Rocket League. And you played great, Ronaldo. I'm massively impressed with what we saw from Swarm. First time we've seen them in the Pro yes. League. They go even with flip side, three and three. That will put them in third place in that division. But that's only because they've only played one game. Right. Everyone else playing a little bit more than them. So they're playing a little bit catch up, and we'll see them again uh, on Tuesday. So Yeah, that's right. If you guys want to watch more Swarm Gaming, I mean, you don't have to go Tuesday. very far. We'll see them Tuesday. Yes. We'll also see them Wednesday. for a return on Wednesday. So you got a, a Swarm Gaming doubleheader next week. Um, but for tonight, we have one more match. We go from EU, some of the, some of the top squads in EU, to uh, honestly some of the teams that are fighting for the final spot here mm. in Pro League and NA. Mad Magic has not won a game. They're going up against Perfect Storm, who was able to steal one last week. We'll find out who is the stronger NA team in our second match of the day after this.